Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. So in this spread, we are going to do a Samhain spread. Now, Samhain is for witches, the new year. So really, it's a good time to set the intentions, to plant the seeds so that they can cultivate over the winter as we dream, as we sleep, as we manifest, and then they can come to fruition over the spring. So in this message, we're going to tap into what you need to release through this next year. What's going to be the biggest thing that you need to work through. Then we are going to tap into something that's going to shift, something that's going to change this year for you drastically. Okay. We're also going to tap into any messages from your ancestors, spirits, past loved ones. We'll also look at how to enhance your connection to spirit, your connection to source, so spiritual practice, things along those lines. The next card, the next placement is going to be a forecast for what's going to come to fruition if all of this takes place and what's to come after. I'll pull a few cards for advice. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. That's something that you're interested in. You're more than welcome in joining us. If you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And just a little tiny announcement while we're here. I am going to release my 2024 Moon Manifestation Journal for this upcoming year. Now, it's going to channel your full moon, new moon. We're going to look at the first quarter moon and the last quarter moon and how to utilize those energies to manifest our desires. And I'm going to break it down every step of the way. It's about 100 to 120 pages. I'm not exactly done writing it yet. Hopefully it doesn't go over 120, but we will see. I will have the copies available mid-November. It's in the process of just the final touches being added on at this point. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. So let's jump in. So we're going to dive right into Virgo's energy. See what is coming up for 2024. Most important message for my Virgo friends. What does Virgo need to see for this upcoming year? Please and thank you. Five of Wands, the Emperor, the Page of Swords. We're going to see if these cards come back out, but I definitely feel like this is something that it's like there's conflict in your surrounding energy, but you're the one that's choosing to deal with this, if it makes sense. Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, devil of the fool the nine of swords and beautiful energy here virgo hermit that card is virgo energy for some reason virgo i'm feeling a resolve when it comes to a family conflict now for some of you this is going to be a mother or a mother figure Maybe this is an aunt or a sister, but I do feel like this has to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And right now, I feel like you are very cautious when it comes to this person. The Page of Wands is in the energy of what you need to release for this upcoming year. So right now, you're kind of just proceeding with caution when it comes to this particular person, and you know exactly who this is, because I feel like in your past, in your childhood, 
there was a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements, and I feel like there's unresolved conflicts from that time period. I do feel like there is going to be some resolve that comes in. It's like healing family issues to set a more solid foundation. And that may even mean that you set certain expectations with this person. And that may come with distance. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that you're never going to talk to that person again. It just means that you're going to have certain expectations when it comes to that relationship. I do feel like you're taking your time when figuring this out. I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about for some time. So let's clarify the Page of Wands energy for Virgo. So it's like you've detached, emotional, detached emotionally from the situation. I do feel like there is an apology that's going to be coming in. It's going to help you come to this resolve. It's going to open the door for there to be this conversation, for there to be this communication about this five of pentacles energy, because this is a message from spirit. Okay. Five of pentacles. And I feel like this is referring to this queen of cups energy. I feel like this is the person that left you out in the cold that made you feel less than so let's clarify the queen of cups something that will shift or change and i feel like this is a relationship in regards to this person i do feel like it's a positive change i don't feel like it's anything negative i honestly don't feel like there's any negative cards in tarot there's only lessons but I do feel like you're having more patience with this person. You're learning how to deal with this person from afar. Learning how to love this person from a distance. I do feel like you don't put your all into this connection because this person has disappointed you before. But I do feel like that's what's being resolved in this upcoming year. So be open to a conversation with this person even if it kind of seems uh, shaky at first, because I feel like the intention is good. They mean well, okay? I also feel like this has been a long time coming. I feel like this is something that at one point had a lot of disruptions and a lot of family gatherings. The world energy on the bottom of the deck, this is the completion of the cycle. Clarify this five of pentacles energy. This is the message from spirit. So it's like this is being resolved. Five of swords to the six of swords. So moving forward, moving into a calmer space from that conflict, from always being at odds with this person. I do feel like up to this point, this was very toxic, it weighed very heavy on your heart. And so with that, it also interfered with relationships. Okay, when this is resolved, you'll have resolve in other areas as well. Does it make sense? So, how to enhance your connection to spirit? Seven of Cups energy. I feel like this is talking about getting focused, getting clear. Getting crystal clear on what you want the outcome to be and what is in alignment with your purpose, with your path, hermit energy, okay? Up to this point, there's been a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. Why? And including relationships. Why is that? Because there was a disconnection between you and this particular person. It's like you didn't trust anybody because you could never trust your own family. Again, guys, this is a long-awaited apology. You have been waiting a long time for this. It's a long time coming. Again, be open to that conversation because if you're not open, then this experience can't take place. Okay? So, forecast for your love life. This is the devil energy. Again, Virgo, once this is resolved, this instability, this 
not being able to trust, feeling guarded, is going to dissolve. So with time, this will go away. Okay? But you have to be honest with yourself about this. Okay? And this is where shadow work comes into play. So moving forward, there are new things coming in, new experiences, the full energy. It also comes with that warning, look before you leap. But I definitely feel here, Virgo, there is an energy of new experiences coming in. But if you're still holding on to this situation with this family member, you're not going to be open to these new experiences, which is okay. Okay, everything is going to align when it's meant to be. There is an opportunity coming in if you find resolve sooner. So if you know that you're going to be at a family gathering with this person, something along those lines, maybe that's a good time to initiate a conversation just to get this out of the way. And yes, it's okay to initiate a conversation. You can start a conversation with this person like, you know, we've always kind of not really talked and here's why. Hope that makes sense. So, Lighted Pathway Oracle message coming out for your reading. Make sure to take some time, especially after you've had this conversation to process. Okay, don't rush into anything. But the sooner this conversation is had, the better. But for some of you, it's going to be important to allow this person to come forward because that's going to show you that they're open to that conversation. Okay, so we have four cards coming out. Your first Lighted Pathway Oracle message. Make the most of it. Make use of your time and all the resources. Look for more knowledge or appliance. Learn from the mistakes and also from others to build up more skills and confidence. Then be grateful. Be thankful to those who assist you and even to those who are messing your life up. They all come for karmic reasons. This brings you closer to divine. Get inspired. Sparkle up your soul with music, graceful dance moves, or some kind of art. You then feel vibrations of a higher frequency and love life more. Lean into your passions. Those little slices of heaven, guys, are important. And if that's something that you're interested, go to my playlist and look up little slices of heaven. I created a video that helps guide you to find those things that bring joy. Stay calm. Be cool. Be calm. You're, you've got to figure out your inner strength and wisdom when your mind is placid. Lights are coming to shine through you. And then I just want to point out, Virgo, on the bottom of the deck, we have two, 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 two. So if that means, if that resonates with you, look up the meaning. In every circumstance of life, this huge change is going to bring your inner peace and harmony. All conflicts are coming to an end to give way to the compassion and empathy. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or you can comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Thank you guys again, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.